Hi, my name is Ryan Diener. I have been in therapy about a month now. My therapist has recommended that I try to get out more, stop defining myself, and let myself be free. my thoughts on how to try to achieve this goal, I've decided to set myself challenges. And I invite you to now to participate in these challenges with me. My first challenge is honesty. In a 10 minute conversation, the average person tells at least one lie. I also like to include our true feelings and our true thoughts on people we interact with on a daily basis. My challenge is seven days of pure honesty. I will try to be as polite and positive as I can be towards others in this challenge. <laughs> this video diary will be a chronicling of my experiences through the challenges I set myself. I invite you to challenge yourself and post your experiences below. Feel free to send me your own personal challenges. Challenge me, we'll challenge each other, and create a better you and me. Hi, my name is Ryan Diener. I'm interviewing some Ann Arbor citizens in Graffiti Alley. I'm Erin. I'm Cam. Oh, I'm Cam. <laughs> so how do you guys feel about honesty in your daily lives? How honest are you in your daily life? I feel like um, when you're doing something very important, you should be honest. You know, like when you wake up and like tell your boyfriend that you love him, that should be honest. But then like when I go out to the bar on a Friday night, and some guy's like, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I miss Washtenaw County and I tour the country. That's a lie, that's a bold face lie, but I don't know him. And like, he well, I'm always the one that has a problem with that because she'll try to lie with me too and say, oh, Aaron does this and that. And I'm like, straight up, no. Like the guy will ask me for the number and I'll say, let's be real. If you call me, I'm not gonna call you back. So why, let's just cut to the chase. And sometimes I think I'm too honest, but I save myself a lot of trouble by being honest in those type of situations. And I feel like I comfort people too much. Like I'll be like, oh, like a guy will ask me for my, my, my number and I'm like, yeah, for sure. And like, they'll repeatedly call me. And I'm like, da, 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 da. you know, like, I don't call them back. But if Aaron, if they were to ask Aaron, they I would never be like, no, that she wouldn't have to deal with that. So, so you think there should be boundaries with honesty to a certain extent? My, I don't think I have any boundaries with honesty. And I think it might be a problem sometimes, but at the same time, in the end, I save myself trouble, you know? I mean, like you were saying, like, with, with people at the bar and, and people you don't know, especially in the world today, I mean, it is a very scary place and you can't be 100% honest. Exactly. But, I mean, with the people you know, like, if, say your boyfriend says he loves you first time, do you automatically respond with well, I love you? I don't have you? a boyfriend, but... Well, just, well, just, you brought it up earlier, really, just so you know. <laughs> I mean, if he, if he says I love you for the first time, yeah. you know, do you automatically respond I love you just to make him feel better because you don't want to ruin that, you know, relationship? or, or do do you, you know, you know, tell them, you know, I don't know how I feel yet because that could cause some tension in the relationship. I think I would say I don't know how I feel yet if it was like if it was like six months and he said like you know if we were very close it really just depends on the circumstance like if I were to say yes I love you too or like I don't know. You but, would say it only if you told them. Yeah, so yeah. So you say it if it was honest. Yeah, but I've been trying to be more honest with myself and with people. Like last night, I got in a big fight with some guy that I'm just making up with. But I was very honest about my feelings. I never do that. Like I'm always very passive, like everything's okay. No, I was like, no, this shit pisses me off. Like, well, do you, think I, do you think you guys could complete a seven day, you know, no lying challenge? No. I think I almost already do it, to be honest, except for at work. I have boundaries when it comes to legal things yeah. that I can say and that I can't say. I'm always honest, but there's always something that has to be held back. So it's always hard for me in my professional life to be what, because in real life, I'm honest. I don't really hold that back at all. 
like as far as it's not just I don't lie, but like I will just go out of my way to tell the honest truth, even if it hurts someone, because in the end I think it's helping them. Uh, that's where I'm trying to get to too. Is like I think we are hurting more people by lying to them because we're we're letting them continue in a certain path that we feel is destructive to them or is annoying but to others around them. But don't, you, so, think, don't you think we lie to protect people? Yeah, I, and, but, and I don't but think but it I, does. I, I think it fails at I, I think it does fail at protecting them because, yeah, if, uh, say if I know you on a personal level and you have an annoying habit, and I know a lot of people around you, yeah. you know, that find that annoying, but they don't say anything because they yeah. don't want to hurt your feelings. They're trying to protect you. Yeah. But if somebody comes up to you and is like, you know, Kim, this is what I find annoying and, you know, you're still a great person, you know, be courteous and played about it like we were talking about earlier. Yeah, I probably would be like, you know, oh, like, okay, I'll well, that, you know, that. yeah, that's awesome yeah. and all. But I think a lot of people need to be more receptive to honesty in general as well. Yeah. And so that's why I'm trying to start the seven day challenge is to kind of create more awareness and, you know, I want more people to accept the challenge themselves and, you know, go through just a seven day period of trying to be 100% honest, you know, their thoughts on it, their feelings, and maybe even post a video on it or come up with their own, their own challenges for a seven day process. Try to change yourself in a little way, you know. One, you know, one it, almost, with, it almost surprises me that people don't already do this. 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 Don't already do this.